Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. There is an ongoing discussion as we speak as to what's going to happen in the country of Jordan, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Is it going to be the area of the next Arab Spring? Will the Muslim Brotherhood take over? Will King Abdallah be able to maintain his kingdom? Uh, <clears throat> For some time now, there's been an ongoing discussion as to whether or not Jordan is in fact Palestine. And that's because the overwhelming population of Jordan is Palestinian. Uh, I would say to you that as far as a two-state solution, namely with, in the area of the West Bank and Hamas in Gaza constituting a Palestinian state and the rest uh, belonging to Israel, that's not going to happen. That's dead as we speak. Now there may be people who are trying to revive that. The Palestinians don't want it. Uh, when they think of a Palestinian state, they, you see a Palestinian map, it's an overlay of the modern state of Israel. That's not going to happen. But there is a realistic alternative. And that realistic alternative is basically the Jordan as we know it, the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. Um, there is unrest, as there is in most Arab countries today. The Bedouins make up 25% of uh, the uh, Jordanian population. It's the backbone of the Jordanian military and of the Hashemite kingdom, really, under uh, King Abdullah. But uh, the king's wife is a Palestinian, and the, and the vast majority of uh, the people, the population of Jordan, are Palestinians. Uh, there was a time when Yasser Arafat said, Jordan is Palestine. Uh, former Prime Minister Ariel Sharon said Jordan is Palestine. As a matter of fact, King Hussein offered Yasser Arafat to come in in a position of province and it would be, they would be incorporated as a state of Palestine. But uh, uh, Arafat wanted the whole thing. He wanted to unseat the king and that did not happen. As a matter of fact, what occurred was this black September of the early 70s where some 25,000 Palestinians were killed by the Jordanians and they left, left Jordan and proceeded to go to Lebanon and trash Jordan as uh, wherever they've gone, they brought the kind of havoc and, and uh, disaster under the Palestinian leadership. But there is a possibility that that could happen. And I think if, uh, if the West led by the United States, would make uh, King Abdullah an offer he couldn't refuse, and that would include financial and economic assistance, something like a Marshall Plan for Jordan, that that could emerge as a financial power within that region. Uh, but uh, there's going to have to be something done concerning the overwhelming population there of the Palestinians that have not really been treated fairly. and. Uh, King Abdullah, I think, is wise enough to recognize that he has to see his diversity there and he has to make allowances for it. I hope that's the case. Israel has been at peace with, with Jordan, and we have no reason to think that that would not be the case. But a two-state solution is dead. What are we going to do as a result of that? Interestingly enough, the scriptures speak of that region uh, in the prophet Daniel, for example, Daniel chapter 11, verses 40 and 41 says, at the time of the end, the end times, he, that is the Tzoreach HaMashiach, the false messiah, the antichrist, he will invade many countries and sweep through them like a flood. He will also invade the beautiful land. Many countries will fall, but Edom, Moab, and the leaders of Ammon will be delivered from his hand. Edom, Moab, and Ammon are in the very region that constitutes the state of Jordan today, the Hashemite kingdom of Jordan. 2012, 2012 is going to be a critical year. Obama's made some uh, promises to Israel if they will withhold and refrain from a uh, preemptive at attack on Iran during this year. I would expect further promises to be made, not only to Israel, but other countries in the region. So we need to stay tuned, but remember this, above it all, Yahweh has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Hallelujah. So until next week, Od Ki Yavoshilo, until Messiah comes, Shalom Aleichem.